There is the need for young people to engage government and its agencies to ensure transparency and accountability to the people. Founder of the Inspired Youth Network, Ayomiko Olubadi, gave this charge at a capacity building program on public finance, political education, social audit, and freedom of information. Olubadi, who called for more sensitization of people at the grassroots ahead of the 2023 elections, also condemned the bottlenecks associated with the access to information from government. Blessing Ifeminam of Action Aid Nigeria believes there is still much to be done as regards transparency in government spending, while other speakers shared their thoughts about topical issues. Government agencies are refusing to, you know, um, give out information. Government agencies are refusing to give out, give information at the right time. They, and you know, some you know, information delayed is information denied. As at the time you need the information, if you don't get it, it may, you know. Um, Enter the process of what you intend to achieve at that time. So government needs to do more. Government needs to um, government needs to um, um, ensure that information are given to the people at the right times. Yeah, first of all is to building that knowledge, which is very important because most times we see that young people are not really interested when it comes to governance issues. So we try to build skills and build knowledge and their understanding. And um, at the end of the training, they're also coming up with community action plans where they go back to their communities and start engagement on advocacy to the two bearers, looking at issues, tracking the budget, um, conducting social audits to be able to hold duty bearers to account. Well, after this, we hope that young people in all phases will go back to their homes, build on what we've discussed here, the training, make sure they engage governments at all levels, from the local government to the state level as well as the federal government. They should be able to call on governments on whatever the field does not please them, and they should be able to collaborate with other young people as well. We look at the local governments, it's not enough for you to be a citizen, and it's not enough for you to just want to exercise your civil rights by voting. You can also move a step higher, take it a step higher. You want to know what's going on around you. There's a project or a construction going on in um, a road in your area. You want to know, okay, how much was budgeted for this project? Was it was the whole amount or entire amount budgeted used? How was it used and all that stuff? That is when we are really citizens. Nigeria's worst floods in a decade have so far forced about 1.4 million people out of their homes, destroyed over 70,000 hectares of farmlands and killed more than 500 people. As the country braces for more high-intensity rain, Nigerians have called on the government to use the available resources to curtail the situation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.